It is the 20th of September 1942. The war in and around the Baltic Unitary State has mostly come to a standstill. The uh, what is that? I am not sure. Uh, a little bug there. Uh, the general situation in terms of equipment is pretty dire and we're very slowly trying to rebuild some of our stocks but uh, mostly the offensive operations have ceased we do have to reorganize the front line here a little bit uh, not this one oh, that one uh, no nope I would like to there we go okay I would like to concentrate around Kaunas uh, the, especially the divisions of the first army and uh, I do think we have an opportunity here uh, just as a just a small localized uh, breakout uh, to see if we can because these divisions here are relatively under strength and we can potentially cap ca 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 capture nine British divisions here so if we can manage to break through here and we can pin them in place in the north I just have to be careful everywhere else then we might have an opportunity okay they're moving so let's pin them in the north and we have an opportunity to recapture a uh, to recapture a uh, uh, a, Germ a German uh, German railway gun here as well so we'll keep them pinned in the north and we will send uh, we'll send the tank divisions in to try and break through here and support that from the other side to open up the front lines there we go okay just have to make sure that we're not running into any trouble anywhere else but um, and I'm gonna have to reload <laughs> just to get rid of I don't know what that is but to get rid of that uh, can we break through here though is the question uh, we might need an additional couple of divisions to uh, just to pin so let's uh, let's keep let's keep them, let's keep them pinned to give the divisions in the south you know, sufficient time to uh, to break this position here. And uh, that's a British command that uh, is under railway gun bomb uh, is is obviously using railway gun bombardment as well. So I will send another division in just to maintain just to main the, maintain the pin here. And then we will try. Uh, we can use. And we know we can't get through there. Okay, so they are reinforcing the position, unfortunately. Which means one of them is going to have to pin that position over there. Okay. So we'll, we'll try to keep them pinned in the north. And we'll try to close the gap here. What are we fighting on? It's uh, it's open for, it's open territory. So uh, ideally, once we get the uh, ideally once we get also the tanks into the into the field, uh, we might need a second division here to hold these in place. So they cannot reinforce. And I think I'm going to send the tanks south and around. Okay, make sure they are keeping. We're keeping them pinned in the north. Uh, no other large-scale engagements happening right now. And we might need another division here to hold these in place. Okay, tank division breaking through from the south and uh, trying to cut them off. And we can widen the front line a little bit, potentially. I just have to make sure they can't escape. Uh, let's keep the attack going in the north. And keep the attack, keep the pinning attack going as well. There are two divisions here that we need to, we need to remove. Okay, keep the pinning attack going here, please while we are trying to un to dig out these especially these greek divisions are quite uh, are quite irritating so we were, we are trying tanks are still trying to break through in the, in the south recon company is done uh let's get maintenance keep keep, keep maintenance going I, i'm not yet using the maintenance companies because the uh I'll throw some divisions back in because the uh, I don't have the uh, uh, I, don't, I don't have the, supp the support equipment. Okay, uh, we do need another division here to pin these in place, and we are almost through here. It's it's uh, it's one last division that's standing. 
and then we should have them we should have them encircled in the north and then we can stop the the pinning attacks here okay nope nope okay no do not <laughs> i think we're good i think we're good uh nope they reinforced just in time so uh, once again uh, support the attack here maintain the uh, King Carol the second second abdicates. Really, I couldn't care about. It. Couldn't care less right now. We need to keep these divisions pinned in the south. Uh, let's reinforce that, and you keep the attack going from the other side. No, no, keep them pinned here, please. Okay, close it, close it, close it, close it. Keep them pinned in the south. Keep, keep pinning. Ah, uh, they reinforced again. Okay, uh, assist with the attack from the south. Okay, we've got them. We've got them encircled. So now it's uh, we, we trapped uh, not as many as I, I would have liked to, but we've trapped a fair amount of divisions here. Uh, okay, Habit Breda has been wounded. That is very unfortunate. Uh, assist with the assault here. Everybody else... Um, we need to defend around the southern end of things and uh, make sure that we're wiping out these British divisions here as quickly as we possibly can. We've still captured one, two, six, uh, six divisions and a field gun. So uh, we are getting counterattacked here, however. Uh, we'll relieve that slightly, but I don't think we have the, the troops here. Just uh, just while we are dealing with these, uh, with these, with these encircled divisions. And then we'll stop again. <laughs> but that has been that has been a successful little operation. I think we might actually have the the fighting power here to pull that off again on the other front. We'll see. Uh, we'll just need to make sure that these get uh, that these get wiped out in the meantime. So obviously they have the the the, the, the some of the British divisions escaped, which is very unfortunate. But. Um, uh, we, we might be able to just uh, let go of the capital for now and uh, just while we are wiping out these British divisions here just to make sure that we're holding okay I think we've held so let everybody let everybody dig in and uh, those who can will assist with surrounding let's make sure we get rid of these uh, everybody who can make uh, uh, assist with uh, assist with wiping out these British divisions here, who are now completely encircled, trapped, and uh, hopefully soon uh, dealt with. And we don't really have uh, we don't really have a lot on the other front, but if we can if we can use if we can use our forces effectively in Tur and uh, in various areas. And I do want to send one division south if we can hold the place. Uh, let's let's pin them there while the other move, uh, division moves into position. Nope. Uh, no, they have... Okay, stop stop the assaults. It's fine. We still have them encircled. We'll, we'll retake the position as soon as we can. But for now, just focus on, focus on clearing out these uh, British divisions here. And you can help as well. Okay, uh, nothing else. Okay, there's a naval invasion happening. Who is it this time? Uh, it's the Danish again. Okay, Denmark is trying a naval invasion, but I think uh, they're not getting through here. So for now, uh, that is uh, that is going to be without much success for them. And while they're rearranging their, their divisions here, uh, we are cleaning up these British divisions. We'll see if we can capture the field gun. That would be that would be amazing if we could capture that German Eisenbahn battery here. Okay, we have taken them. We've overrun them, and I think yes, we have captured the railway gun, not field gun, railway gun. This is going to give us a a, uh, a quite a bit of a quite a bit of a boost in firepower, really. So, uh, where are we going to put them next? Let's see. Uh, for now, we do have uh, we do have some. Yeah, no, I don't want the guerrilla fighter, uh, but we uh, he can take um, reinforce rate. Don't really need it. Recovery rate, yes. 
Okay, so uh, we can we can concentrate the uh, the first once once they've recovered because again they are completely completely wiped out. I uh, will con we'll concentrate the first uh, around here and see uh, see if we can see if we can push if we can make a push through. I uh, can make a push through. Okay, let's get rid of the empty front lines. If we can make a push through the through the territory here and recapture recapture our uh, recapture our positions, because we might have a chance here to actually cut. Now we can't cut them off because this is all Poland, but uh, we can recapture this this territory. So for now, uh, we'll try to hold on to what we've what we've just gained. And we do need to reinforce, if, if possible, make sure that everybody digs in now and gets into gets back into defensive postures while they are trying to counterattack. Obviously, uh, twelve convoys. Why are we still running convoys? Uh, oh, because I haven't actually closed the upper Baltics. Yes, we need to close the upper Baltics. We are. Having big problems with logistics at this point, both trucks and trains. And I am really not happy about the war support and stability issues that we're having as well. Uh, we don't have any trade going, do we? No, we don't have any trade going right now. So close the trade, close the lines. And uh, our production is focusing at this point on on trucks and trains. And hopefully we can work, uh, we can work towards... Are we actually positive on these? Uh, our trains we are, trucks not so much, so we'll have to slowly try and get, uh, yeah, they're counter-attacking everywhere, so right now we'll just, we'll just dig in, we've got a couple of divisions that have lost their front lines, uh, this is 5th army, uh, let's del that's two divisions from the 5th, let's delete that, uh, that's one, and where's the other one? Uh... There should be a second one here somewhere in the area. That's fine. We'll leave them well we'll leave them where they are right now. Oh yeah, these two. Okay. Yes, it's the tank division as well. We we'll leave them where they are at this point. And uh how's everything holding up in the north? Yeah, Soviets are not particularly strong here. But uh, I need the equipment I need my divisions to be at fight full fighting strength before we take another attempt here in the north. So, uh, right now it's more about, uh, can we send one over just to hold here, please? And we will, yeah, we, we will get the, we will get the first army divisions once, once the defense is done, the first army divisions will move. And I think, I think we've more or less We've more or less defended it at this point. How are we doing against... Yeah, we're having trouble with the British medium tanks at this point. Because our our AA guns are uh, not particular... We can still uh, we can still do some damage to them. But uh, it's, it's not as easy anymore. We are going to need anti-tank guns at some point. So let's wait. Let's wait until everything is settled in. And uh, that was a good blow against this this British position. And uh, they are trying to that they, they are trying to counterattack with tanks everywhere. But uh, we'll just we'll dig in and hold for now. And uh, let everybody let everybody build up their entrenchment again, and their and their their organization. Are we okay on supply? Yes, because we are uh, we are now holding uh, the Kaunas supply hub. And. Uh, I think uh, uh, there's there's some infrastructure damage here along the supply lines as well. So uh, let's make sure that everybody just digs in for now, and then we'll plan the next small offensive once once things have settled down. I just want to make sure that everybody gets to gets to their position. Uh, please assist with that. And yes, we now have a railway gun that can help in these operations, which means uh, these guys are. Uh, these guys are going to uh, s somewhere. They should 
Oh no, that's us. <laughs> Somewhere they should they should take uh, they should take take um, uh, yeah there uh, railway gun bombardment is costing them a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna get everybody to dig in, and we have a chance here once the once the heavy hitting divisions have have concentrated. Uh, we have a chance here to do another uh, another cutting operation in the, uh, in this area and cut off another uh, another f uh, flurry of divisions in that region. Okay, nothing happening on the Soviet front. I would love to have a supply hub here, to be honest, because right now our supply lines are terrible. But uh, like just to have a supply hub here in this in this forward position, which would really support the uh, the northern operation here. But um, uh, we will move against Sweden eventually. Not now yet. This is still far in the future. Uh, for now, I'm just going to quickly reload the game to get rid of this little arrow here. And uh, I'll, I'll be right back. And we're back. And the little arrow thing is gone. All right. So, our troops are getting into position. The uh, Eastern Karelia offensive operation is, yeah, is being planned. And we're seeing a lot of troop movements of the of the allies, and we may actually have a cheeky chance to take this position here. And uh, that is that, that is because that is effectively still core territory for us. And I think I think we yeah once once these divisions are. Once these divisions are in our position, cor our position correctly, uh, we may actually already have a chance. It's a little early. Oh, I don't like it. They, they don't have their organization back now. We need to wait for them to build up their organization. We, we're, we're not encircling them there. We'll, I mean, we might, but um, uh, we, we do need to make sure that these divisions have sufficient organization. And then we might go for another encirclement of this little salient. And... Uh, it looks like we may have taken, we may have taken this, uh, we may have taken this uh, this territory back as well. Again, a war support is a bit of a concern, so any kind of war measures I can do, no, actually, uh, propaganda efforts, I I am going to because we do need to improve our uh, war support. So send another division south, and then just again dig in. Uh, first, first army needs to. Uh, is there anybody we can get into? Mm, yeah, no. I. Uh, it's the. Uh, enemy bombing is is and the combat casualties are really are really the, the problems, and we are working on we are working on more, more anti-air, but uh, it's going to take time, to build up the to build up the AA so. Uh, once the once the two divisions of the first uh, are uh, have recovered their organization, then we can try another attempt here and cut off these eight divisions in the north and see if we can if we can do away with those. But uh, for now, uh, we'll just hold out here. Uh, we may be able to push that tank division out, honestly, but. Um, um, not sure I want to. Right now we're in a good defensive position. And uh, yeah, no, that's fine. I just want to recapture this territory in the south for now. This isn't my primary strategic concern. Uh, once we have recovered the territory, then we can fortify the, the front lines. And my strategic concern is the north. So I would love to start another operation here and take, take this territory. Because it's pretty well defensible. It's not easy for them to start naval invasions. And... Uh, this is territory that we that we can use and for that in that regard i think i might actually be um how's the air situation in the upper baltics no one's there so let's get the naval bombers out again and the upper baltics and uh this close air group can do port strikes as well and they may as well and uh, we can already get another wing of, away from of more of more naval bombers that can train up okay and uh, yeah we don't have fighters but uh, we do need to sort out our we do need to sort out our uh, our, our situations okay we have sunk a what have we sunk uh, we have sunk a dutch 
a destroyer, I believe. So that's good. Uh, we'll keep we'll keep going. And we are lo we're losing logistics. Uh, we have logistical problems over the the Belarus air, air zone as well now, which is uh, which is this kind of salient here. Uh, so, how are the Russians doing? Well, uh, the Greek have invaded. The Greek have invaded Crimea. So the Russians are losing on all fronts here, by the looks of it, against the Allies. Which is not good, because uh, we'd love them to be bogged down a little bit more. How's Japan doing on the other side? Uh, Japan has taken has taken most of the East Indies. Uh, that is relatively good. Uh, if they can manage to take uh, uh, to take British Malaya, that would be grand. But it looks like they're bogged down in China pretty much, as as normally happens. And there is another naval invasion happening. Where exactly, please? Uh, okay, so round here-ish, I guess. Well, we'll deal with it when it comes up. Right now I'm just uh, looking at the organization of the first, and it looks like the first is actually in a position to potentially make this happen. So let's see if we can uh, get the get the first army divisions to, uh, to, to execute the push. And uh, we pin if necessary. Yes, it's going to cost us material. It's, it's again going to cost us uh, equipment, but uh, if we can make it happen, yep, there comes the naval invasion. It's Norwegians this time. Uh, hasn't really happened. Okay, uh, let's see if we can. We'll support it for now. Let's see if we can push through these divisions here. Uh, but, uh, it looks like um, we have reserves, but uh, they, these these are extremely well entrenched divisions. So this might be a lot harder than it it looked without uh, without the available. Uh, without without the divisions being at full strength so I think that attack might have might not be successful yeah I'm calling that off for now uh, that was too ambitious okay call it off let's get everybody back into position uh, we're still too far too far down in material especially artillery so our divisions don't have enough firepower and we are very slowly working our way up towards the trucks again uh, and we don't have an awful lot of tanks left we're not going to be able to build any tanks so uh, we'll just make use of the firepower of the tank division as long as we can but uh, that said we will send the tank division over to this front line and we'll see if we can uh, we'll give them an operational order and we'll see if we can uh, if we can retake if we can retake some terrain here and encircle this block of divisions here. But uh, for now, yeah, for now I think we'll we'll just hold again and wait. <laughs> we will eventually manage to manage to liberate this, but we do have to be patient about it. At least we are starting to see manpower trickling in. Um, once that is done. Uh, I will leave, I will stop using the uh, I, I will stop stop the the focuses for now to gather more political power so we can get our war support up because that is uh, currently a bit of an issue how is the air situation over the sea okay they've got fighters up again so uh, stop the yeah we've already taken significant losses um, uh, stop the operations for now and uh, yeah, just uh, just stand by for now. You can exercise, but everybody else just stand by for now. Have we sunk anything else? Not really. We've done a little bit of damage, but not an awful lot. Well, I would say all in all, this has been a relatively successful small operation. And now the waiting game begins again. But we are also really struggling with our logistics fulfillment at this point. Uh, especially trucks we are the enemy bombing of trucks is just insane at this stage um, where are exactly are we are we losing trains yeah well here yes I understand that uh, so we might have to wait until the 
until the AA situation has been improved. And we will also start <coughs> to build up AA across the contact line here. So um, we will stop offensive operations. We're focusing on focusing on outbuilding them and uh, getting the trucks and the trains, getting our our efficiency up and uh, getting the logistical sort situation sorted out. So yeah, no more offensive operations for now. Uh, that was a good uh, that was a good little push, and uh, we've still got some front line to clean up here. But uh, for now, we are going to uh, dig in once more and uh, try to regain some uh, some some of our to regain some of our combat capabilities. And who knows? Maybe eventually we will uh, we will start to push north. But uh, yeah, we're, we're, these these divisions need to be full strength before that's going to happen. And we might need an we might need a supply hub uh, in this position, honestly. It's going to take forever to build that, but uh, we'll, 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 put, we'll put it in with some supply lines from the rear. And uh, eventually we'll get to that. We also do need to improve our industry in general. We do have the capability to build more factories. It's just that we don't... Uh, I don't know. We need to get the air situation sorted first. So yeah, that's that. And uh, that the only way to do that is uh, we might shift some production over into fighters, honestly, and see if we can build up enough of a uh, enough of the Mark II's. Where are they actually? Did I not put the Mark II's in? Um, or did I not? Des oh, I, I forgot to design those. Okay, so that's the last thing we're going to be doing. Uh, we will create um, create the the Alarka Mark II, which is going to be a pure fighter plane. And instead of and the only thing we're going to do is instead of um, instead of the armor plating, we are going to uh, we are going to put non-strategic materials to get the aluminium cost down. There we go, Larker Mark II, and um, I think we are going to start these off, uh, and we are going to re we're going to reduce the we're going to reduce the factories on the close air support for now, and eventually we want we want to have uh, factories on the fighters. So um, we'll con we'll focus on. We'll focus on naval bombers and fighters a little bit. So let's get the naval bombers down there, there. Okay, there we go. So we'll build fighters, uh, naval bombers, and uh, we'll see if we can make something happen. But yeah, trucks and trains are our problem areas that we need to solve. Anyway, uh, that's it for me today. Little successes are being to be celebrated. We still don't have a possibility to do that naval invasion over there, but. Uh, I think it's going to be sometime mid 1943 when we might be when we might begin the next push to liberate the remaining Lithuanian territories. And then we can start fortifying the fortifying the border areas here, and uh, then we can start uh, we can restart a push towards uh, towards capturing uh, capturing Murmansk, and then eventually parts of Norway and Sweden, and then uh, we will see what else we need. Let's have a brief look around as a last thing today. Let's have a brief look around. So uh, we need we need Olonets and Onega. Now let's see where these are. Uh, terrain. So Onega we are almost holding. Olonets I think we are holding. So uh, we just need to we just need to push a little bit south here to be honest and uh, see that we can uh, see, see that we can take take these positions the problem is again no supply there so that's another difficult one and uh, yeah well with our limited industrial capacity we will try to liberate the rest of finland take that in the north and uh, try to declare the F empire of finno ugra and that should give us sufficient that's the point when i'm going to declare the uh d declare the disaster save saved because that gives us enough should give us enough resources and manpower to uh 
to deal with the Allies and whatever is left of the Soviets at that point, if there is anything left, because the Allies are making inroads here. Anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks, everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.